the Ukrainian national anthem for Vladimir Klitschko. Multilingual and we're told with a taste for caviar and pancakes. That's not bad taste, is it? And he'll be able to afford plenty, I would think, as he keeps on uh, selling out the arenas. There's 12,000 in here in this Preussag Arena tonight. What a job they've done promoting him over here. A Ukrainian in Germany, but of course he's based in Hamburg. Yes, he's based in Hamburg, but it is a wonderful job. I mean, they really have worked on him, and, you know, he's done it in the ring. Starting as a big favourite. Be 27 later this month. Fritz Sadunek, the trainer there'll be no change to an American trainer that was made clear to us last night by Klaus Peter Cole the promoter who says this is the best man this is the man who knows this fellow back to front and he has a very very high-tech training regime as well including diet I give you instructions I want to obey my commands at all times punches here are good punches 17 here are good. stone for Klitschko 16 good stone you, for Sanders no surprise there though I think the South African just carrying a bit of condition isn't he Yes, a little bit, but you have to give them the, the heavyweights off and do. By the way, Lennox Lewis phoned up Corey Sanders last night, I'm told, with a few tips as to how he might go about beating Vladimir Klitschko. Not that Lewis has been in the same ring as him, other than in the uh, film Ocean's Eleven. And that wasn't for real, of course. We'd love to see the real thing, but there's no real sign of it at the moment. Ready? Uh, Lennox Lewis maybe fighting Tyson again off we go first round WBO heavyweight title red trunks defending champion Vladimir Klitschko the white of Corey Sanders who does have this punch and has a habit of knocking out people early but he's only had three rounds in three years Sanders that would be a worry well, he's going to try and get his jab off early that's that's a key if you can take away Klitschko's jab then you've got to give him a, a chance of getting into this fight Klitschko looked a very thorough technician last time out in dismantling the hopes of the American prospect Jamil McLean, forcing the stoppage late that night. But left hand there by Sanders, fighting out of the southpaw stance. Vladimir has beaten the top southpaw in Chris Bird. So this might be something a little bit different. Sanders will be is very very knowing he's been around this game not only in fights but in gym sparring with top heavyweights for year after year he always used to be pretty quick too with his hands yes he has got fast hands thanks quick left just pushing that out Klitschko reaching with the right hand and getting there. He was just troubled by a little left early on from Sanders, which came as a timely reminder. He's looking for left hand, but instead, nice jab. And listen to the fans respond to that as Klitschko gets that little confidence put in. Then, with some real devil, and he's hurt by that left hand by Sanders. Just dropped his right glove and Sanders took advantage. Well, well. Some drama there. I think it is the speed of Sanders that is troubling Klitschko. Just picking one or two holes in the Klitschko defense. Rocking the head back of Klitschko. And he's got him in the left hand and floored him. Goodness gracious me. And will he get out from that left hand? We might have a sensation here. Vladimir Klitschko all over the place. Just about clamours to his feet. Is blinking. Eyes in orbit. And now it becomes a battle for survival. Corey Sanders has got him again. He's got him again. This time he's up very quickly. Looks cut as well. There are only seven seconds left in the round and the bell cannot come quickly enough. Are the hopes of Vladimir Klitschko about to be demolished here? He's got through the opening round, but what incident, what drama. Very, very nearly knocked out in one in what would have been the biggest sensation in many a year.
Well, it certainly would have been. What a good punch. The fast left hand giving him so much trouble. It really was out. And if the bell had come any later, this fight would be over. Great start for Sanders. Look at that. That fast left hand from the southpaw. And down he goes. Maybe that was the tip from Lennox Lewis. Well, whatever Lennox said, it worked. But the speed, a good start, quick start. And what did we say about the punch power of Sanders? He's always got a chance. He only just about beat the count. And here, huge holes have been knocked in the reputation of Vladimir Klitschko. Whatever happens now. Second round. Sanders will fancy here that he can score a knockdown and he's got him again. Straight left hand this time. Down he goes for the third time already. And this is early in the round. This looks like curtains for Vladimir Klitschko. It's going to have to be stopped, I think, because Klitschko is rocking and rolling all over the ring. He throws down again, and it is stopped all over round two. That is one of the biggest turn-ups you will see in a boxing ring in a long, long time. Well, unbelievable. The South Africans behind us are celebrating, frantically jumping all over each other. Corey Sanders, with his speed, has pulled up what looked a very difficult task and absolutely destroyed Vladimir Klitschko. It was his last chance and my how he took it. Mass celebrations. Nobody but nobody would have predicted that. And all the hopes and pretensions of Vladimir Klitschko have been blown to smithereens here. The crowd are stunned. I don't think anybody among the hardened boxing observers, including our colleagues from America who thought that Vladimir Klitschko was the next big thing, they cannot believe it. I'm not sure I can either. <laughs> well, he did it so well. It really was. The hand speed was the key. He said 18 first round wins, almost had a 19, instead a second round win. Can Corey Sanders believe it? Either there was another left hand, and those were the punches that did it. Bang! Right through the middle. And really, whatever happened after that, there was only one winner. Rocked to the core they are here by this. And that's going to send reverberations right the way around the world heavyweight scene and what an eventful three weeks we've had Tyson with a 49 second win Roy Jones's amazing performance last week and now this veteran Corey Sanders comes in and blows away Vladimir Klitschko only the second time he's lost in 40 second fight but Glenn where is Vladimir Klitschko now well he's just been totally exposed hasn't he really really hard but let's not take any away from Sanders yeah, yeah. you know he did it well he counted you know, perfectly with the left hand he was prepared and he really has just put a, a tremendous shock into heavyweight boxing let's put this in perspective there are a lot of people in this business who've been going around and telling me that Vladimir Klitschko could beat Lennox Lewis right now well they were saying it up till about six minutes ago anyway that's right but look at the way he dismantled him and he just fell apart, such a big man, crumbles. In case you're still having to pinch yourself at what you've just seen, Vladimir Klitschko was knocked down four times. They are speechless in his corner. George Foreman cannot believe it, and he delivered a few knockouts of that kind in himself, and of course he was the victim of one of the great shots in uh, Kinshasa Zaire in 1974 against Ali. But well 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 <laughs> he couldn't have happened to a nicer guy than it Corey though he couldn't such a, a nice guy talking to him yesterday clears off one handicap in golf he realized what he was up against he knew this was probably his last chance and he just said I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get it and then hopefully get me in with Lennox Lewis he just seemed to struggle with the southpaw style he didn't seem to know where the left hands were coming from okay beaten Bird but Bird's a technician Sanders is a hitter he struggled with the, the speed. When you've got that sort of speed, with that speed, with that sort of power, then it, it means trouble. 
I think that's the biggest upset in the heavyweight division since uh, Evander Holyfield beat Mike Tyson when he was something like 18 to 1. 27 seconds of round two, all over. Corey Sanders has the win of his life. And that is going to be huge headlines around the boxing world. And it really dawns on him. His manager, Rodney Berman, jumps in the ring to congratulate him. What a tremendous feat. And hats off to the trainer, Harold Volbrecht, as well. The former welterweight, South African flags flying in the arena. This is not what they thought they were coming to see tonight. It's not what we thought we were coming to see. But the left hand of Corey Sanders has blown away the pretensions of Vladimir Klitschko in three minutes and 27 seconds of frenetic, dramatic action. In a moment, I'm sure we're going to hear from the winner. Somewhere in there, I think, is Larry Merchant, who's going to be doing the interview. Hasn't happened yet. No, he's still in his commentary position. Oh, is he so right? OK. So I think they're still anal <laughs> analysing this, this action. And look at that left hand. He was quick to seize the opportunity. He knew how hurt he was. You know, the second round, he didn't come out to weird. He knew he, he'd hurt him and hurt him bad. And then he was straight on him in the second round to finish the job. It is the left hand. That's the one that gave him all the trouble. Look at the power he gets into that. Left hands through the middle. Was that the subject of the Lennox Lewis phone call last night that might have been the key to victory? Well, well Corey Sanders, or am I overstating? I think that? so. I think this is naturally Corey Sanders' yeah. style. He's yeah, got sure. eight first round knockouts, so, so this is what he does. Klitschko come to him, he let him come to him, he drew him on, and it was the first left, which was a short left too, it was the first one that got him. After that, he found the straight left. The two fighters embrace. Can Vladimir come back from that? Very, very hard. He can come back. He's still just young. He's only 26. He can come back. But that, you know, he was completely annihilated there. And they're going to say now, aren't they, big question marks about his chin, which haven't really shown up before. I know Ross Purity had him down, but uh, you know, in, in 41, now it's 42 fights, nobody ever looked like doing that to him. They certainly didn't. And it was the, you know, the way he did it. He did it cool and calm, and he just found the punches at the right time. And there's a, a very happy man. One of the great surprises here, all smiles, Corey Sanders, who had a sports psychologist to help him in the build-up to this fight, he was telling us, to get him in the right frame of mind, make sure the desire and ambition was still there. And do you know what they're talking about? They say if he won this fight, he was going to go to Robin Island, where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned, and fight Evander Holyfield. It could happen, you know. <laughs> well, I'm sure it could. It really, really could. Well, he's inconsolable. Corey Sanders is trying to console him. It is all over in round two. Corey Sanders has astonished the sporting world by knocking out Vladimir Klitschko in a couple of rounds here at a dumbfounded Hanover tonight.